Now, self-acclaimed money doubler and spiritualist Patience Asidwa, popularly known as Nana Agrada, has been arrested. Nana Agrada is known for her self-acclaimed money-making ritual, Sikagari. Well, she was arrested by a joint team of police and national security intelligence operatives in collaboration with the National Communications Authority on Tuesday night. These were contained in a post by the official handle of the Minister for Communications and Digitalization, Esla Osu Ekufo. According to the post that she made, two TV channels, Thunder TV and Ice One TV, uh, have allegedly that allegedly broadcast money doubling content at Kaswa in the central region were also shut down for operating without licenses. The team seized two pieces of equipment which, you, which was used in the allegedly illegal transmission from both premises. Now, a later statement that's just coming in from the National Communication Authority lists some 49 stations, TV stations that are to be shut down. It says NCA shutting down 49 illegally operating TV stations. And there you have it there in your screen. It says that the NCA has embarked on an exercise to shut down 49 television stations stations and it forms part of continuous monitoring exercise conducted on various satellites free to air television platforms using the broadcast monitoring system and the radio spectrum monitoring system the monitoring revealed that some channels were operating without valid authorization contrary to section 24 of the electronic communications act 775 of 2008 it goes on and on and it says, as a result of this, 49 channels have been identified to be operating without valid, uh, valid authorization. So it lists for you these media organizations. There you have it. Uh, quite a lot. Maybe we can go through just a few for you. DAF TV, uh, the operator is Sophia Okanse, DBA, um, NTV, that's uh, North Television Limited, Thunder TV, Agrada, that's Thunder TV Limited, Power TV, Maranatha TV, MTA, Chief TV, Kiss TV, Sagani TV, uh, B, and there the, it gives you the okay BOC TV, OK TV, Cash TV, Lion TV, Akwesi Ewa TV, No TV, Apple TV, SBN TV, Ejakofabai TV, Next TV, Face TV, uh, that's a Plau TV, Paradise TV, SBN International, uh, Ejapa TV. Nazareth TV, Kasi TV, Ahotoswa TV, uh, SBN International, Paradise TV, Adipa TV. Those are just 27 media organizations that I've uh, highlighted for you there. Uh, we have the list we're uploading on myjoyonline.com. Uh, do take a look at it, uh, share it with the rest of your uh, contacts. Let me just, in, in meanwhile, police in the central region have arrested 40 suspected uh, criminals in Kaswa, uh, the, or the Kaswa enclave. My colleague Richard Kojonyako is standing by to give us more of this. Hello, Richard. Richard, you're muted. I hear you now. Tell us, what do we know? Well, so what we do know is that uh, yesterday the regional police command uh, promised that they were sending more men to the Kaswa area to help fight crime. So today they've um, detailed a lot of the police personnel to go to Kaswa. And this morning there was a soup and this soup resulted in the arrest of over 40 suspected criminals. The police say they are still investigating, they are screening them, and then they will put them before court. They were involved in various um, offenses, and uh, these would be in the charge sheet when they uh, present their cases before court. So today, uh, if you go to Kaswa now, there are a lot of the police personnel who are there, the municipal chief executive there said that um, they are going to bear the cost of feeding the security persons they want more presence of these security people in there this morning too there was another development uh, the uh, Kaswa traditional area that is the Fanko traditional area um summoned all the security chiefs in that particular area and they were angry that they've not been able to fight crime in that area they say that not a day passes by without Kaswa being in the news and they are always in the news for the wrong reasons they are stabbing people they are maiming they are killing people there are a lot of armed robbery cases and the others so they were questioning them why have they allowed the situation to escalate like that 
And the, uh, the Kaswa Divisional Police Commander has been offering some answers. He assured them that uh, they are on the ground, their men are on the ground now, they are fortified um, uh, to ensure that the, all of these things are nipped in the bud. And we also spoke with the immigration um, officer in that area. He has been uh, cautioning the landlords in that particular area that because of the fluid situation there, when foreigners come to rent their houses, they should know there is a 90-day uh, period uh, within which the people should be reported to the immigration offices because at that point, then they have overstayed their welcome mm. and they need to be handed over to the police. So all of these things come together to uh, cause that particular challenge that we are witnessing in Kaswa. Mm. Richard, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be following up on that story. So some good thing happening there in Kaswa. Boots on the ground, according to the police, from Richard's report. Let me take a break here. Gary R. Smith is standing by with sports on the pulse.